This, my friends, is an ATI Radeon X1300. It's a very old GPU that has one very distinct little feature, and that is a DMS59 port. So what is it exactly? Well, it's not DVI, and it's, I guess, the equivalent of mini HDMI and mini DisplayPort in a way. See, it was using low-profile cards to give more connections to... The GPU, essentially. On a low-profile card, you can't fit that many connectors, but with DMS, you could get two VGA ports out of it, or two DVI ports. And that was actually pretty cool, so let's go ahead and see how it works. So, here is the DMS59 port at work, running the two displays, and as you can see, I have Windows 10 on the screen. Now, that is a bit of an issue, and I'm not even going to talk about the game. Guys, you'll see the FPS in the top left. It is running horribly. All the games ran like trash. If you expect anything more out of this car, then I'd be surprised. I mean, you basically Half-Life will run on this, and that's about it. And that's the first Half-Life. You know, and maybe a third one when it comes out, even though it will never come out, so... It won't run it anyways. Who cares? But anyways, let's talk about compatibility. This card! First, to get it running on Windows 10, you have to go ahead and install it the traditional way, you know, get Catalyst going and all that stuff. And, you know, it does it all automatically. And then afterwards, it doesn't work. So what you do, apparently, I found this out for some for forms, you have to go and manually install the card, I mean, the drivers through Device Manager. And also, there are people on, the for on a bunch of forums, I'm not going to name them. They're like, oh, it's not going to work in Windows 10. Yeah, you can force anything to run on Windows 10, all right? Just because Microsoft doesn't support it doesn't mean anything, okay? It runs fine. Tired of all these naysayers. Seriously, what is wrong with these people? It runs fine, guys. It runs fine. Maybe not in games, but it handles Windows 10 fine. So if anybody goes to you and says, oh, that car won't run Windows 10, no. Every single thing will run Windows 10. <sighs> Anyways, and then after going through a bunch of blast screens and then multi-monitor not working at all for some reason and refusing to start up, I eventually got it working. And I just got these tremendously horrible frames. I didn't even bitch for a Skyrim. Like... Just, it got 5 FPS there. But there was one game, and the highlight of my day that actually ran, and that was Dino D-Day, guys. That was Dino D-Day. So anyways, to wrap this up, this very, very short video, is the card good in 2017? Well, unless you like getting 39 FPS in Dino D-Day and not being able to play anything else, no, it's not good. It's pretty bad. And getting it to run in the first place is pretty horrible. In fact, I wish it was simpler, but you know what? There's no forward compatibility. There's only backwards compatibility, guys, and that disappoints me. Why can't I use my card in modern games? Whatever happened to forward compatibility, guys? What happened? 